uh, this week is uh, obviously me doing the Q- QA. Uh, Callum Smith, left wing. Uh, I'm wearing, uh, obviously, a picture of the old gaffer because he's been giving me a lot of stick lately. Funniest joke, uh, obviously I've got a few boom guns, but I won't do them. Uh, we'll do a nice, light-hearted um, uh, football joke. Uh, do you know about the bloke who uh, invented the red card? He died the other day. Yeah, they gave him a good send-off. That, that's it, really. <laughs> scoring many good goals. Uh, I scored a few good ones for linking out reserves. Uh, one on the edge of the area where I flipped over this lad's head twice and put it in the corner. But I'll probably go with, I think it was two years ago, I played against rugby um, at home and it was nil nil of one of them pretty horrible games and um, it basically got crossed into the box and I edited it in it probably about eight, four, eight, fifth minute so and it was a big win for us in the end so probably that one. Longest in the shower, um, he done, he's definitely signed on for Lincoln United. Uh, he hasn't had any games this year, but oh yeah, I think he might have played at Cleveland actually, um, start of the season. So I'll probably go with uh, Jack Wilkinson. I know this one's from a missus. Uh, every, everybody basically gives me a stick because I look like Frodo out of uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, so she's obviously stitched me up with that one, but no, nah, I didn't get a suntan. That's <laughs> it. Best vinyl. Well, I started collecting vinyl now for about three or four years. I'm really into my music, really. Um, I've gotten a few David Bowie ones, and uh, I do love David Bowie. My dad does as well. He basically got me into the best band, so. There's one that my Mrs. Mum got me called Blackstone. He released that just about two weeks before he died, but the album cover's really good on it and that, and the album's really good. But it's a bit morbid, except he basically explains his own death, so, but probably that one. Um, when I was growing up, I always basically liked to like, I've never really been at pro club, so I used to play like freestyle football a lot on like car parks and stuff like that. Um, I, I liked Ronaldinho growing up, but the older I got, uh, I don't play anything like Paul Scholes, but the way Paul Scholes represents himself as a footballer, well, did represent himself as a footballer, basically just a family man and uh, used to go and do his job. And when um, he went on social media, stuff like that, he just enjoyed playing the game, and that's what I like doing. So I'd probably say Paul Scholes. The best player I played with, uh, I was at Boston United for a bit, I mean, uh, which was a shock move for me. Uh, I'm always quite honest. Uh, I'd probably say Mark Newsham, Boston United. I wouldn't say. In his actual position as a striker, he can hold the ball or he scored plenty of goals as well. He scored a lot of goals for Boston United, so I'd probably say Martin Newsham. Um, well, Noz, uh, Rob Norris, he's the uh, resident DJ in there, so I'm not allowed to go and hear it. They don't like my music, not many of them anyway. Noz likes one or two tunes that I like, but I remember the film, I don't know if you remember the film Jimmy Grimble. Um, it, basically, the boy who had magic boots, but he realised at half time he bought the magic boots, it's actually him. And it, after half time, he played uh, in the film uh, Right Here, Right Now by uh, Fatboy Slim. And for me, that's proper getchable for a game. And watching that, I used to get goosebumps when I was younger. Shame was about Man City because I'm my United fan, but never mind. Well, obviously I've on my left hand side. Uh, there's a few really good players that I played with, like uh, Brennan McDade. I mean, he, he was here for absolute years. Ian Wilkes also at centre back. Stuart Reddington, 
Um, but I'd have to go Ryan Port because he played left back. I played left wing. He had some of the best times when he was playing left back. I always felt reassured when he was at the back because he was experienced and uh, he was he, he was a top bloke. So um, Ryan Port.